To begin with, Akemashita omedito gozaimasu. Kotoshi mo yoroshiku which in English means Happy New Year and please continue to favor me in the coming year. The Chinese New Year begins on January 29th, but is not of any cultural significance in Japan. However, the mythology of the 12 Chinese zodiac signs relating to consecutive years is a respected tradition. And as you probably know, 2025 is the calendar year of the snake. Almost one year ago, I published a short video about a supernova that happened 55 million years ago. That video described the Type 1A supernova event in detail and showed my best photograph of it in the Silver Streak Galaxy NGC 4216. Please have a look. It is now almost one year later, and I again visited the same galaxy to check on the visual status of Supernova 2024-GY. To do that, I used the exact same instrumentation setup from the exact same spot in my backyard in Yokohama, Japan. I imaged it at 448mm focal length with this equipment setup shown here, using the ASI 533MC Pro color camera. The three-minute subframes I took last year and this year also employed the same UV IR cut filter as well. And here is the processed image from last year. This field of view is taken deep within the cluster of galaxies in the constellation of Virgo. It encompasses about 1.5 degrees of sky along each side with an optical tube assembly that provides a maximum theoretical resolution of about 1.75 arc seconds per pixel. There are 33 deep sky objects that are recognized by the online resource of astrometry.net in this photograph. They are circled here in green. In the previous video, I mentioned that these were all galaxies. But actually, that is not exactly true. This time, I took the time to catalog each and every one of these objects as shown on this slide. It turns out that 29 circles do contain galaxies, but four of them are other. The exceptions are listed in light gray lettering on the left. One is believed to be a nebula, and the three others are actually stars or double stars. Why stars would have an index catalog number an IC number is a little surprising to me. The index catalog has nearly 5,300 objects that are mostly galaxies, nebulae, and star clusters, but I guess there are a few like these which are individual or double stars as well. The largest galaxy near the center of this photograph is NGC 4216, the Silver Streak Galaxy. The 2024 image, outlined in green, is shown here on the left of the slide. And on the right is my most recent image, taken in January 2025. I tried hard to match the field of view and camera rotation to duplicate the details. NGC 4216 is clearly evident. Interestingly, on broad examination, the recent image appears to be of higher quality than the 2024 image as judged by the shape of the stars. They are more pinpoint. And the details evident in some of the other smaller spiral galaxies look more highly resolved as well. My processing technique has changed a little in the last year, but even when I reprocess the old subframes in an identical fashion with the same software, that same difference is still evident. Therefore, I surmise the differential results are probably due simply to better seeing conditions on the day I took the more recent images, or better guiding and tracking. Here is a zoomed in and cropped close-up of the Silver Streak Galaxy. It is located in the Virgo cluster of galaxies about 55 million light years away. It is an intermediate spiral galaxy that appears to be about magnitude 11 in the visible spectrum. Interestingly, spectrophotometric analysis suggests that it's rich in metals, which may imply that it is an older galaxy that has undergone several cycles of star death and rebirth through supernova events. The star indicated here is supernova SN 2024 GY, 
discovered by Koichi Itagaki on January 4, 2024. The reported peak apparent magnitude it achieved was around 13 sometime in mid-January. Shown here on the right is a zoomed-in and cropped close-up of the Silver Streak Galaxy imaged recently in 2025. Note the disappearance of Supernova 2024-GY. Yeah, I know, this is not surprising. Supernovae are transient events that appear to last for only weeks or months from our perspective, leaving behind nebula remnants of gas and stellar debris. Of course, such nebula remnants are much too dim to be visible from 55 million light years away. But being a scientist by training, I felt compelled to complete the data set. If it truly was a supernova, that star should disappear in a short period of time. And it did. By the way, these close-ups come from serial stacked images that were processed in Graxpert to remove background light pollution noise, and then had mid-tone colors stretched in GIMP. They were minimally processed to preserve the best comparative data. No AI denoise was applied to pretty up the images. But I think you can see here, there is a little more star and galaxy detail in the recent image on the right. So, for fun, I processed that image with Topaz Denoise software, which appeared to do a beautiful job of enhancing the clarity and revealing some additional detail. Remember, this image was taken with only a 80 millimeter aperture telescope, and the galaxy is only about 8 by 2 arc minutes in size in the night sky. The question, of course, is whether these revealed details are visual artifacts, or does it correspond to actual known structures in the galaxy? But before I answer that question, take a look at this tiny little galaxy here. It is only one or two arc minutes in size, but displays a beautiful barred spiral shape and is apparently 222 million light years away. And if we go back to the original full frame image, over here is a galaxy pair that was identified by astrometry.net that is nearly one billion light years away. It is rather crazy to think that the photons I captured of these two distant galaxies originated long before plant life and photosynthesis on this planet, when the atmosphere was mostly methane and devoid of oxygen. Incredible. And finally, here is a comparison of my recent image of NGC 4216 taken with the Zverboni 80ED, a 3.1 inch refractor telescope versus a reference photo of the same galaxy that I found online. The image on the left was taken with a 24 inch Ritchie Kreitchen telescope way back in 2010 showing incredible detail. Back then, AI denoise tools did not exist, at least not to my knowledge, and so this image, taken in monochrome by the way, is probably a very true representation of the actual structure of the Silver Streak Galaxy. My humble image on the right actually is not bad in my opinion. It comes pretty close to matching several details observed with the more powerful professional scope revealed in the image on the left. And that is comforting to know. Here in Yokohama, Japan, as you know, I am JP Astro Guy, an aspiring amateur astrophotographer. My name is Paul Cheesegel, and thank you for watching Astrophotography Japan.